everyone, welcome back to another video. As you can see, I have this beautiful coloring book, Magical Dawn by Hannah Carlson here with me. And we are going to continue a page that I've been working on in this book. I previously shared a background tutorial where I did a watercolor background. And I'll link that in the upper right hand corner if you have not yet seen that one. I also very recently shared another video where I came back and went through my entire thought process while I fixed some of the mistakes that I felt like I made on the watercolor background because as you know, I am very new to watercolors and when you're using new mediums, it's all about trying new things, playing around with them and just getting familiar with whatever medium it is. And I wanna make these videos because I wanna encourage you all to sort of step out of your comfort zone just a little bit and use other things aside from just your colored pencils. So this page that we're working on is very mixed media in the last video, I used Posca pen and we used acrylic gold paint and we used stickles. I went through my entire process with y'all so you could see how I decide what I'm gonna do on a page. This video is actually a continuation of that one. So if you've not seen that, go ahead and go back and watch that one and then come back to this one or watch them in opposite order. It really doesn't matter. But in this video, I am going to work a little bit on the background, try to fix the watercolor background where the paint didn't separate or dissolve the way that I would have wanted it to. I wanted you all to be able to see that and share my pr thought process again. I don't know how much of the page we'll be able to finish in this video, but I know that it's gonna be a learning experience for everyone, including myself. <laughs> if you check the description box down below, you'll find links down there for my email list, my Facebook group, my Etsy shop, and my Patreon if you would like to support me there. I also now have channel membership, and you can check that out by hitting the join button down below the video. If you just saw my previous video, then you have already seen this, and we did cover quite a lot in that video. We used Posca pen, we used the acrylic paint, and I just showed you quite a few different things that I would do on this page or that I wanted to do on this page and then shared with you how I wanted to continue and what some of my ideas were. So I have a paintbrush here. This is the paintbrush that they actually sent me with the watercolors. It's the Light Wish uh, paintbrush. It came in a set. I want to show you how I'm going to attempt to fix the background. If you look here, you can see that the paint just did not dissolve the way that I would have wanted it to. And we have a little bit of what I would consider a mess up up here. And part of it could be the paper. Part of it could be the way that I applied the water the watercolors. Part of it could be that I either used too much water, not enough paint, too little water. I don't know, but we're gonna go through and we are going to figure it out. And I think these videos are very, very important because I want to encourage you all to not give up on a coloring page when you feel like you made a mistake. And I felt like I made a mistake from the very, very beginning when I did the background. And after it dried, I saw some of this over here that I was not happy with. And so I wasn't gonna continue the page and I decided to pull it out and I'm like, I'm not gonna let that bother me. I'm just gonna continue the page. And I love the way the rest of it is turning out. I love my frosted looking glass bottle. I'm in love with it. I love my rainbow effect that I did here. But if you would like to see me show you how I made this rainbow dust, let me know in the comments below and I would be glad to film a video showing that. And I already have the perfect page picked out to be able to do that. So I have a little bit of water here and I put a piece of paper here behind my page and I'm just going to wet the brush. I'm not wetting it very much at all. Okay, so I have you all zoomed in and hopefully you can see this on camera, but there are some mess ups over here and up in here and up here. And I didn't even cover it all the way up here in the corner. There's just a few things that I wanna be able to fix. And then I want to be able to get it all in this video, but I want to be able to show you what I'm gonna do with all of these little dots and stars here and maybe make this a background tutorial. So I did look at a few YouTube videos on how to fix this and I think that maybe I could just put some water over it and it will spread it out and I'm hoping that it works but I don't want to add too much water because this paper has already had enough of the water and I don't know if this is actually going to work I don't know if it's working or just wetting my page here I think it's working a little bit but I'm going to have a wet page when I'm done I may need to actually grab a little bit of color Okay, so I'm getting daring here and we are going to add color in here. <laughs> I just dipped into the color that I used. 
I don't remember which pink I used. I'd have to go back and look at the video, but I think this is fixing it a little bit. And I may have to end up just being happy with whatever I can get it to do, rather than worrying so much about those few little mess ups. Let me get a little bit more color here. So I did take some of the rose red. This is the rose red down here, but if you water it down enough, it actually goes on pink like this. I'm gonna come in here and try to fix some of it and maybe add some color up in here. I may just have to be happy with what I got going on here because I don't know how much of this I'm going to actually be able to fix. And I don't want to drench my page because in this video, I want to be able to show y'all what else I'm doing to this background. And this paper really can't hold that much water. So I really have to be careful about how much water I'm actually adding to the page. And I went back and I watched my video and I really like how it turned out and how it looked. So it may just be the paper but that's okay, I'm gonna to try to fix it the best I can. But at least those marks are not there anymore. And I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get that out, but you know what, y'all? It's all a learning experience. And then I wanna make sure I get this color back down on there and blend it right back into that other color. Oh, and I like how it brightened that up. And that was definitely the color I used because I went back and I watched the video to make sure that I picked up the right colors. I think we need to go down just a little bit further into the yellow here. And then hopefully it will dry and look good. Let me rinse off my brush. I think I need a little bit more of that rose red. Okay, I think that's gonna look a little bit better. So let me show you all what I'm doing. I'm just putting the colors over here in the tin and mixing them over here off to the side. And I think that I'm gonna go ahead and try to fix some of the purple down here. And I'm pretty sure that it was the only purple that we get here in the set, which would be this deep violet right here. And I'm watering them, watering them down quite a lot. So of course they don't look exactly like the swatch because I want the background to be pastel. And so I'm gonna come down here at the bottom and I'm gonna try to add a little more color and spread a little bit of this out. And I think for the reason that this happened is because I used too much color, too much of the watercolor. So I don't know that I want to attempt to fix this too much because I don't want to have to pull out the blue and mix that together and try to figure out and remember what color I used and go back and watch the video again. <laughs> but you can see that over here on the side, the purple in the crease of the book sort of went upward into the blue, which I don't really mind because you can't really see that all that much. And I do still have some lines up here that I wanna to try to get rid of. Oh, I added a little more paint, so hopefully that will make it a little less obvious. Yep, that worked. I'm just a little afraid of that color because it's supposed to be a red. Of course, it's called rose red. It's going down pink because I've added a lot of water. So I don't wanna lay down too much water and I don't wanna do more than I really need to because I don't wanna chance it. <laughs> and I think it looks good now, but I am gonna show you after it dries, I'm gonna take a little break from filming and I'm gonna come back and turn the camera back on and I'm gonna show you the rest of what I plan to do with this background. But I th actually, I think while it's drying, maybe we can work on some of the little decorative pieces. So this is the acrylic paint that I've been using and then I've been coming back over it with my gold stickles. And that's how I did all of this here. And I show all of that in the previous video that will be linked in the upper right hand corner. But I need to finish all of the stars and all of these little dots in here that are supposed to be bubbles. I don't really know what I'm gonna do with those yet. I'm thinking of just coloring them in gold, but I really don't know yet. Or maybe I could do little white bubbles. That would be super cool. Okay, so I have a little scrap sheet of paper and this is where I'm putting my uh, gold acrylic paint. This is from last time. And this is just the paper that I test out everything on. And so I'm just gonna put a little bit of my gold paint on there so that I could dip into it. This is the brush that I'm using. It's just a very thin, thin brush. I got them off of Amazon. So I'm gonna come in here and just go over these stars. It looks like I might have to add another layer of this gold paint. There we go, now it's going down. I might need to do a couple layers of this for each one of these stars because I'm trying to cover black lines in the coloring book with this. 
And after I finish all of these and they dry, I'm going to come back and I'm going to make them really glittery with the stickles. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go through and finish all of these stars, including the little tiny ones down at the bottom. And I'm going to speed it up to music. And then I will come back and we'll move on to the next thing. So we've got all the stars all colored in gold and the next step is to color in all of this here in gold as well. And I'm really excited to see how all of this comes together and the reason that I am adding the gold a little bit here, a little bit there is because when I initially added the gold it was just in this one part of the page and I want to make sure that I bring balance to the page. And I also am going to come back and show you how to make stars in the background. And I haven't fully decided yet, but on the background, after it's all dry, it looks like my page, it actually, it looks like, yeah, I think it's actually dry now. And it does look better than it did. And it's not all completely fixed, but I'm not going to fuss over that. I really don't care. After it comes all together, it is going to look beautiful because the focal point of this page is naturally going to be the bottle itself. And so all of the little imperfections in the watercolor, nobody is even gonna see that. So I'm not as concerned. I fixed it as much as I possibly can. And that's just a lesson to learn for next time. So I'm adding gold all throughout the page just because I don't want this to be the only gold here. I am all about adding balance to my page and bringing whatever colors I use to the other parts of the page. And I think my rainbow dust that I created here in the bottle, I think that does a really nice job of adding to the background and then bringing all of the colors to the other parts of the page as well. So I think the page is pretty much dry. I'm gonna go ahead and get this section done here and I am going to use the gold paint to do that again. And when I'm using all these mediums, I am keep it, keeping this very heavy watercolor sheet of paper behind it so that my mediums don't go through to the other side. I don't know that acrylic paint will actually do that, but just to be safe, I definitely needed it for the water. But we're gonna do every one of these gold as well and the little dots. So as I go through and I do this part, I am going to speed it up again. that I'm having to come back with the acrylic paint because I'm trying to cover the black lines. I want to make sure that they are not there or can't be seen at all. So I'm sort of pulling the acrylic paint over just a little bit over that line art because I do want to come back with stickles and I want to make all of these sections glittery just like I did here. I think I'm going to do that. I haven't decided for sure yet, but we'll see what happens. I think it will give it a little bit more depth and dimension. But see how I'm using the brush to just sort of pull it out a little bit? And I wanna make sure they still all look round at the bottoms here. So I've noticed when I'm using the acrylic paint that I might have to come back and just go over two or maybe even three times. But I like to speed it up to music just because I don't want you all to sit there through the whole entire process with me because, I don't know, it could kind of get boring <laughs> watching me go over it and over it and over it because the length of the video that you all see is a lot less than what it's actually taking me to work on this page. But I think going over it with the acrylic paint more and more is actually creating a little bit more depth and dimension in these areas. And I really like the way that it looks. But I love that so much. You see how it just brought the color into another part of the page. And so I have a little bit of gold down at the bottom. I've got some gold here. I've got some gold here. And I'm thinking that I want to take all these little dots that are in the background. And I may want to make those like little gold dots because I think that would look really cool. And I had tried to use the Posca 
if you saw in my last video and I didn't like the way the Posca looked because it doesn't really stand out off the background. If the background was much darker, then the Posca would show up a lot more, at least the white Posca would. But since we've got a very light pastel -y background, we are going to have to use a different color and I think the gold may work. Okay y'all, so we are going to attempt to move on to the background and we are going to see what happens. Now I'm hoping, because I had already gone over these with the Posca, again, another quote unquote mistake, but I'm gonna fix it and try to make it look good. My only issue is, I don't know if because I went over those with Posca and then I'm gonna come back over with the acrylic paint, if I may have to put Posca over all of the rest of them to make them look identical to these little dots over here. So I'm going to start attempt to do that and we're gonna see how I like it and what it looks like. Now this is acrylic paint, so I really can't take it off. <laughs> so I need to hope that I'm making a good decision, but I do want little gold dots. And so we're gonna go over the Posca and we are just going to add to the watercolor background. And I think by doing this too, is going to take away from the mistakes that I felt like I had made when I did the rainbow watercolor background. But it looks like the white is showing through. So I may have to go over them a couple times. And then we are going to do one of the ones that I didn't do that to and see if maybe they still look the same. I'm hoping I don't have to go back over every single one of them with Posca to make them look identical. I shouldn't have to because I also want to use stickles here as well. And you could see that when I'm laying the acrylic, I actually did this when I was doing the other parts down here. I'm noticing that if I just tap it, sometimes I go back to just, you know, making that circle because I wanna make sure that I actually have that shape, but then I'm coming back and I'm just tapping because I feel like it lays down more of the color. So I'm just doing a little circle and then I'm gonna come back and tap right over it. I want to finish this background today. I wanna to show you all how it's gonna look when it's done, when everything has come together, but I am still gonna to have to do these other parts of the page. But I really wanted this video to focus on how I fixed the background. And the Posca really did help to get rid of the black line art. And I'm going to attempt <laughs> to do what I need to do with this little star. I'm just going to put a little dot in the center and then I'm gonna come down and I'm trying to make these actually look like stars, but I think my brush might be a little bit too thick. Actually, it's working but I want them to look a little pointed. I think I need to turn just a little bit so that it comes out the way that I want it to because I want it to be pointier at the end, like that. And I wanna fix this one, so I'm gonna bring it down just a little bit more. And so that is what I wanna do with them. I'm wondering if I'm going to be better off going over them with Posca first and then coming back and going over them with the gold paint because the gold paint, as you can see, didn't cover the line art. I'm gonna to try to come back over it again and see if I can cover up that line art. And I am able to. Okay, so I think it is covering the line art a little bit more. Trying to get the right angle is the hardest part about filming. But I think I covered a lot of that line art and once I go over it with the stickles, it will make a huge difference. But I love the gold, is that so pretty? Now I'm gonna go ahead for the sake of the video and I am going to show you what it looks like after I add the stickles but I am going to come back and finish it and I may just take a little bit of a break, come back and finish the background and I will do it at a much faster pace so y'all could see it all come together. So by the time the video is over, you will be able to see the outcome of the background and what I did with it. Okay, so I have my gold stickles. This is called Goldenrod and I think I'm gonna start down here. Actually, I like to test my stickles off to the side to make sure they are running smoothly. Let me turn it a little bit so y'all could see exactly what I'm doing. And everything is dry now, so I can just continue with this page. Oh, how pretty. I'm gonna go ahead and speed this up while I lay the stickles down here. love how this looks. 
It added so much depth and dimension. I just love stickles so much. And I'm looking at my stickles and I don't know if I have another one, but I'm worried that I'm going to end up running out of stickles if I decide to do everything like that on this page because I still do want to make all of these stars in here gold as well, but I also do want to finish the background. So since I already showed you how I'm going to do all of these stars here and the little dots, I'm going to go ahead and speed it up to music because I want you all to be able to see how the background comes together and then I'm going to decide what kind of glitter I want to add to it. I did notice when I was going through and adding acrylic paint to all of these little, I guess they're supposed to be bubbles, is that it did work much better when I had the white Posca underneath to provide another layer for the acrylic paint. But I think that I'm going to try something just to experiment a little bit. But I want to see if I could lay down the Posca. I want to show you all how I'm going to do these stars. You saw how I did the other one. But I'm going to lay the Posca down on top of this first. Then we're going to come back and we're going to go back over it again with the acrylic paint. And we're going to see if it looks better than this star I did up here. Okay, so I'm using this thinner Posca. Okay, so some of the acrylic paint is still wet, so I'm gonna come up here and do this star here because these should be pretty dry. I don't have to worry about messing up my page. So I'm gonna take the Posca and I'm just going to cover the line art. And then after it dries, we're gonna go over it with the paint. And you can see that I actually did it a little bit differently than what was originally there. I pulled the Posca out just a little bit more to make the edges of the star a little bit pointier. Because if you look at the, this one where I just used the paint, it didn't come exactly, it didn't come out exactly as how I would wanted it to come out. I would have wanted the edges of the stars to be a little bit more pointy than that. And I probably could use a gold gel pen as well, but I don't know that I, I don't have one laying around. And I would have to go searching for my gold gel pen. And I don't think that the gold gel pen is as true gold at least the gel pens that I have is not as true of a gold as using something like the acrylic paint. I love the color of the gold of the acrylic paint and that's why I'm using it. So I'm gonna go back over this one more time and this is just to get rid of the black line art. And I'm just pulling it out just a little bit more so that I could have the little pointy edges on the star. The Posca should be dry and we're gonna go over this. So do you see how by me just going over the Posca this time, how it sort of gives the acrylic a place to lay? But I am gonna need a couple coats here, but I'm definitely not gonna have those black lines. It's actually holding the acrylic paint in place. I wanna make sure I get really good coverage and I don't see that white. But this just goes to show you it's all about experimenting and trying out different things and new mediums and seeing what works best. I don't know, my star looks a little wonky. I'm still working on trying to fix it. <laughs> but you can see that the star is ending up a lot bigger than it originally was. And that's because I'm trying to make the pointy edges. I don't know, I think I might like that one better. Here we go. Now it's looking better. And let me make this just a little bit pointier. I think it's right here that it doesn't look balanced. It's a lot bigger than it was, but that's perfectly fine. We are going to come back and put some glitter over it, but I don't know. I don't know which one I like better. This one, you can definitely still see the black lines. This one, they are definitely all covered up where I put the Posca underneath. And it's all about experimenting and trying new things. I don't really know which one I like better. I think this star came out better, the way that it actually looks and the little pointy edges and everything else, maybe because it's smaller, but I like that one too. And I think this one will really stand out, especially after I lay glitter over it, but it has to dry first. And I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna do the rest of the stars. And then we're gonna put glitter over the stars to make them shine and sparkle like stars should.
Okay, y'all, that's my favorite star. I really like that one. And I'm just gonna lay another layer over here in the center to try to cover up some of that black line art. Oh, I like that one the best. Okay, so you don't need the Posca. It was a lot of fun experimenting to try to figure out what I liked best, but I think I do actually like that one best and I didn't need to use the Posca. But now I have a big, huge, pretty star up here at the top of the page. It's really going to stand out and it's gonna look really great after I come back and add that glitter. So let me finish up my stars. So after you continue to just work on the stars and you do that over and over again, you'll get a lot more used to it and learn how to make the edges on the stars much pointier. You just have to sort of lift up with your brush as you come to the edge. And if you mess up, you can always go over it again like I did and improve upon it. Okay, so our background is done. I love this. I really, really love this. And y'all, I did mess up in some places. And again, I'm not letting it bother me because nobody else is going to see it. I'm gonna show you exactly where I messed up because <laughs> I want you all to see what I'm noticing, but you may look at it and be like, oh, it's not a big deal. And that's part of the problem with our coloring. We all have part of being a perfectionist within us and we want everything to come out absolutely perfect, but it's art and it doesn't have to be perfect. So if you look over here, I still have some of the green watercolor that is messed up just a little bit, which I'm not worried about over here as well. Down here, the purple ran into where the blue is. And then over here, I smudged some of the acrylic paint because I wanted to pick it up. I don't know if you saw that earlier in the video, but it sort of spread into the watercolor background. So I have a messed up little dot or bubble right there, but it's not a big deal because the focal point of the page is actually the bottle. When people look at my page, they're going to see the bottle. There's still quite a few places where I wasn't able to cover all of the line art. Of course, I still have to come back and finish this here and color in the gemstones. We're not gonna have time for that in the video, but I wanna show you what I'm going to do now as far as glitter goes so that y'all could see the background completed. So I don't think that I'm gonna use the golden rod like I did everywhere else for the stars on the outside. I grabbed the crystal, which is just going to make them bling and sparkle just a little bit. And this is really, really pretty. I'm gonna hold it closer to the camera and hopefully the sun is hitting it so y'all could see all the different colors in there. But this is going to go really gorgeous with this rainbow dust here and all of the other colors I have going on on the page. And it's still gonna look like it's gold because I don't think that this crystal is actually full coverage like that golden rod is. So we're gonna start doing some of these and see how it looks. There we go, oh how pretty. So they st should still look gold, but they're gonna look a little bit iridescent at the same time. That is gonna be so pretty. And again, it's gonna bring in all of these other colors. Oh my gosh, look how gorgeous. Okay, so this just helped me to figure out what I'm gonna do here inside the bottle. So here inside the bottle where I have all the rainbow dust and I have all of these little, I guess what should be bubbles, I'm gonna do the same thing on those as well because it's going to help to bring all the colors together and make them really stand out. I love all the glitter on this page, y'all. It is just so pretty. And this video is gonna take me so long to edit, but at this point, I don't even care. <laughs> because I am enjoying this page so much. I think this might be one of my favorites that I've done yet this year, just because it has so many fun mediums on it and so many fun colors. And of course, my favorite thing ever, the glitter. Let's go ahead and try to do one of the stars because I don't want to do the whole entire thing and film it all because it's going. the video has already gone on so long. So let me show you what the stars are gonna look like. Let's go ahead and do this one. Oh, how pretty. Look what that adds to it. It just makes it bling, but you could still see the gold. Oh my gosh, how beautiful is that? Let's go ahead and do this one up here. Oops. And see with the stickles, I'm just going to have to let this sit because the stickles, they take so long to dry. So let's just go ahead and do this one. Oh my gosh, how pretty. Oh, I love it so much. So I need to go through and finish all of these and I'm gonna go ahead and speed that up to music again. So it is done and I absolutely love it. Oh my gosh, it's gorgeous. I love this background. <laughs> 
And you can see that everything that I did to the background and all these little added extra touches, the glitter and the little gold stars and the gold bubbles, it brings your eye away from the mistakes that were originally on the background and it puts your eyes and draws your attention to everything else that is going on on this coloring page. And I do need to finish this part here and I do need to finish the crystals. Let me know if you want to see that when I film that. And also let me know if you want to see a rainbow dust tutorial because I would be glad to do that as well. Everything that you've seen in this video will be in the description box below as well as my favorite place to buy stickles. I'm going to need to put in another order here very soon because my stickles are running out. <laughs> I hope you all have a wonderful day and I will see you in the next video. Happy coloring. Bye.